Hi, my name is Aaron Dowd, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to record an audio file for a podcast. So, if you're going to be a guest on a podcast, here's what you need to know. First thing, you want to record an audio file on your computer to send to your host or the person who's interviewing you after the show's done recording. And if you do this right, and I'm going to show you how to do it right. If you do this right, it's going to sound better than the Skype recording that people normally use for a lot of podcast interviews. So your host may be recording the Skype audio with a program like Ecamm Call Recorder. And a lot of the times people like to go that method because it's easier on the guests. The guests don't need to worry about recording anything. But listeners notice the difference in quality. And if you want, if you want the podcast listeners to pay attention to you, to hear your message, to communicate that stuff, then you need to record a local file on your computer and send it to your, your host afterwards so they can do editing and processing on it. And that will just eliminate a lot of the problems that might come from Skype. Okay, second, you need to find a quiet room to record in. So turn off your fans, your AC units, or your heaters. Uh, put your pets in another room. Maybe lock them in your bedroom or a bathroom or something. Just try to eliminate any background sounds that, uh, that might be happening, that might be recorded by your microphone. And try to avoid rooms with a lot of natural echo or reverb. Uh, a lot of hard, flat surfaces or big rooms will off often sound very echoey. And that's not a great experience for your podcast listeners either. Now, if a simple hack for that, a little tip is to grab a bunch of couch cushions or pillows and set them up around your computer where you're recording, that can work really well to reduce some of the echo in your track. Next, you always want to make sure that you're wearing headphones while you're recording. So make sure that any sound from your computer is being routed to your headphones. Otherwise, your host's voice will be recorded, picked up by your microphone. If it's coming out of your computer speakers, it'll be recorded in your microphone. That'll create this weird echo in your track, and that will basically ruin your recording. So make sure you're wearing headphones while you're recording. Next step is to connect your USB microphones, or if you're, uh, if you're using some kind of audio interface like I am, connect that. Or if you're using headphones uh, like the Apple earbuds that just have a built-in microphone or a USB headset, plug that into your computer. Um, and next, you need to understand input and output sources. So input and output sources basically are input is where the sound is coming into. So which device it, your computer is going to be recording audio from. So that's either your USB microphone or headset or an audio interface that you have. And then the output is where your computer is going to send audio to. So wherever your headphones are plugged into. So if you have a USB microphone that has a headphone jack on it and you plug your headphones into that, then you need to set your output to that device. And you can do that uh, in, on a Mac in your audio preferences here by holding down option and clicking on this little sound icon up here in the menu bar. And you'll see that you have an output device. So that's where your computer is going to send audio. And you have an input device. So that's where your computer is going to record audio from. Now you should know that the software that you're using, a lot, of, uh, a lot of audio programs like Skype and QuickTime and Audacity like I'm going to cover in this screencast, they also have system preferences where you will set your output and input sources. So programs, you can set input and output in programs. You can also set input and output in system preferences. Uh, if that sounds a little bit a little bit confusing, it kind of is, and I understand that. But just be aware of the fact that you can set input and output to to determine where audio is coming in from and where audio is being sent to. And I'll go over a little bit. I'll go over that stuff inside of the the software here in a second. So next thing, you want to turn off Dropbox, Google Drive, and any other services that might be hogging internet bandwidth. Uh, I'm thinking about like Backblaze. Uh, anything that's backing up your software or your uh, your computer, your hard drive to the cloud, just make sure that you eliminate anything that might be hogging bandwidth. And you can actually, most people have Dropbox. You can pause Dropbox syncing by clicking on this in the menu bar and hitting this little pause button right here. All right. Next, you also want to disable system notifications before you start recording. So this just prevents any sounds or weird noises or pop-ups uh, text messages, things like that from showing up. And you can do that by holding down option and clicking on this little notifications menu bar. Um, what is this thing called? I don't even know. Widget? Yeah, you just click on it. And if it's highlighted, it's on. And if it's grayed out, it is off. Hold down option and click on that. Just do that. 
And that'll, that'll actually help you um, prevent you from being distracted by pop-ups while you're recording a podcast. Okay, next we got to open up the recording software. So just a little bit about microphones. Generally, for good mic technique, you want to be a couple inches away from the microphone. Use a pop filter. Uh, if you haven't bought one yet, there you can get them for eight to twelve dollars on Amazon, and you need to get one of those for sure. Um, you need to adjust the input gain on your microphone or on your USB interface. If you're using a headset like Apple earbuds, any kind of any kind of headphones that have an inline microphone but don't have an input gain knob, then you'll probably either adjust that inside of your recording software or you won't have the option to adjust it. Your system will just adjust the gain levels automatically for you. So, but if you have a microphone that has a input gain knob or a USB interface that has an input gain knob, open up a program and then adjust the levels. I'll show you how to do that in a second. We might as well jump into this stuff now. So let's start with QuickTime first. And QuickTime is a program that comes automatically installed on all Mac computers. So you can just open up Spotlight by hitting Command Space, type in QuickTime, and it should give you the option, hit Enter to open it. Now you can go ahead and hit Done because it's asking you if you want to open a file. We want to record a file. Go up here to File, New Audio Recording. And it gives you this little box right here. Now you can see that because I have, well, okay, I'll just walk you through this. First, you can drag this little speaker icon, the slider, turn it all the way down because you don't, you don't need to hear yourself while you're recording. Let's see, but you need to click on this drop down menu and select your microphone and quality should be high. So microphone, because I have a Zoom H4n interface that this microphone is plugged into, that's what I want to use to record an audio file. And you can see that my levels are coming in here okay. You don't want levels that are super, super low. So you can see if I back away from this microphone, it's too quiet. That's no good. And if I get, okay, I'm not going to do any more of that. If I get too close to the microphone, then these meters start hitting the edges, which indicate clipping. You don't want that either. So somewhere in the middle, whenever you're talking normally is good for your input gain levels. And you should be able to adjust that on your microphone or your interface. If you don't have a, uh, if you're using Apple earbuds or something like that, then you do not have an option. It should automatically set the levels for you. Okay, to record, you hit this record button and this will start recording an audio file. You'll see that there's a little gray square right here, which is a stop button. And that's how you know that you're actually recording. All right, to stop, you hit this stop button right here. And you've got a file, you can play it back and listen to it. And I recommend doing that just as doing a test recording uh, in advance of your interview or your podcast, just to make sure that it sounds good. Everything sounds good and okay. Once you're done, you can export this audio by going to the menu and selecting export audio only. Put your name, name of the podcast, and then maybe the episode number. Uh, save it to the desktop or to Dropbox or Google Drive. And there you have it, a podcast recording file ready for you to send to your host. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing in Audacity. Audacity is a free program that you can download for either Mac or Windows. And I'm including it here because there may be some people who you may have a Windows machine and I don't want to do Mac only. So we're going to open this up. A new project should open up. And let me go over the, uh, the interface right here real quick. So the first thing that you'll need to know is that, as I talked about earlier, input and output. So this is where you can select your output. In most cases, you can leave this slider over here all the way down. Um, unless you want to listen back to the file that you record, you can make a test recording and then you'll need to listen back. So just make sure the output is set to whatever, wherever your headphones are plugged into. Uh, but the important thing is your input. So next to this microphone icon right here at the top, select the microphone or interface that you're using. And if, yeah, you should see like an inline mic or something like that if you're just using Apple earbuds. So I have my H4 selected. I have my channel selected because my microphone is plugged into channel one to input one. So I have that selected. Uh, if you have a, okay, so this is the recording volume, your input gain volume. So if, if you have a microphone or an interface that has an input gain knob on it that you can adjust there, 
then this will be grayed out like it is for me. I can't adjust it. If you have Apple earbuds, you'll probably have the opportunity to change the input gain. And we can set the input gain, click on this, uh, these meters right here, right above this microphone. And that'll start monitoring. And you can see that my levels of here are coming in. They're hitting on average just above negative 12, which is the perfect spot. When you're talking comfortably a couple inches from the mic, you should see that hitting negative 12. If not, adjust your microphone input gain levels to be there. What you don't want is either to have them be too low, so like negative 36, or too high, like regularly hitting zero. That's a problem. You want them right here in this negative 12 area. So when you're ready to start recording, this looks good. Hit this record button or hit R, which is the keyboard shortcut. And this will start recording a new file. And you can see from the waveforms here that I am recording a file and the levels are good. So that's perfect. You can hit space bar or hit this stop button right here to stop. Come up here to file, export audio. I'm gonna save this as Aaron, podcast one. Format as WAVE, that's good. You can either do WAVE or AIFF. Hit save. Don't need to do anything here, just hit OK. Let's see, I'm gonna hide this. And now I have an audio file right here, ready to go. Then the next step is just to share the file using Dropbox or Google Drive or any other cloud, sh cloud sharing service that you use. Uh, I'm not going to go over that process because I know you're smart and I know you can figure it out. Google is your best friend. Just uh, if you don't have Dropbox, if you never used that stuff before, look it up. There's some great tutorials. Um, and um, I think both Dropbox and Google Drive have free options. So you can just sign up for that and start using them to send in an audio recording to your host. So let's do a super quick recap before we get out of here. You want to record an audio file in your computer so that you'll sound good, uh, so that your podcast listeners will pay attention and absorb your message and you'll sound professional and clear and great uh, because listeners, podcast listeners do notice the quality of recordings. Second, find a quiet room to record in. So turn off your fans, AC units, anything else. Uh, avoid rooms with lots of natural echo or reverb. Number three, wear headphones while recording very important. Make sure you understand the, the concept of input and output. So where input is where your audio is going into, which device is, is recording audio to the computer, and output is where your computer is sending audio. Make sure you got your stuff connected, plugged in, set up. Uh, select your input and output source, either in your audio preference or in your recording software, sometimes both. Turn off Dropbox, Google Drive, and any other services that might be hogging internet bandwidth. Disable your system notifications while you're recording. Open up your recording software. Talk into your microphone. Adjust the input gain levels. Don't forget to hit record. <laughs> Very important to hit record. Hopefully your, your host will remind you before uh, they start the interview for you to hit record. But just double check that. Finally, export your audio when you're done and share it with your host. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, to close this thing up, again, my name is Aaron Dowd. You can find me on the internet at thepodcastdude.com. Let me show you that real quick. Come on, Google. Thepodcastdude.com. Um, I've got a podcast there, podcastdude.com slash iTunes if you want to listen to that. Uh, I will say if you have questions about gear, the gear I recommend, the gear I use, the gear I think people should use for podcasting, go to thepodcastdude.com slash 32. And I have uh, an entire episode here about the gear. And I talk about all the various gear that I like for all different kinds of budgets. So you don't have to spend $500 to get a recording setup that sounds good. Uh, just head over to thepodcastdude.com slash 32. And that'll be everything you need to get started. So I hope that was helpful. Have an excellent day and best of luck with your podcast.